And we're live! Hello, San Diego. I'm Ron Burgundy. <laughs> hey, bud. How's it going? If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Take a seat. And if you're coming back, Nick, all I want for Christmas is you. To get out of my basement. So welcome back to another movie commentary and reaction. My name is Sam. Steph. And we're, we're the, the movie, movie buds. buds. This time around, we're going to be doing Ghost of Girlfriend's Past. It's based on um, a Christmas Carol, right? Yeah, I didn't know that at all. Yeah, no. Until you told me. Yeah. <laughs> I've not seen it. Cool. And neither of you. No. So this is gonna be a fresh take oh, yeah. all around. You know what? I think this is gonna be literally the first time we've done an actual first take for both of us. Yeah, it's funny, you think with this music you would know automatically that there's some Christmassy shit going on. I always use the same fucking music. The idea of <laughs> Christmas movies is just so wild. An entire story that is centered around this one fucking holiday. <laughs> Oh man, I'm in this one too! <laughs> that was actually the deciding factor. Yeah, that made this. the difference. Yeah, break so We're like, okay, <laughs> we could do that. Just quickly, not everyone's gonna get the reference there, but we've noticed that Brecken looks a lot like Steph, especially when they're younger. If you haven't seen our yeah. Can't Hardly Wait video especially. That's where the legacy started. It's where it's the most <laughs> obvious case, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like this. Oh my god, that scarf. Two, three. All right. Okay, so is he supposed to be the photographer? Because he's just a dude who turned up and pressed one button and walked yeah, away. Yeah, everything else got set up for him. Want me to book them? Yes. Separately or together? Yes. Ugh. That would be so painful, being a woman and an assistant to this kind of guy. I'll be honest with you, I'd have trouble being this dude's assistant as a guy. As a guy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cozy up this gimmick key light. Oh, this was... Excuse downside. me. She's so not... Okay. What are you... Okay with this? Yeah, she's not comfortable. I just want to let you know that I'm a huge fan. Uh, oh, you shouldn't be though. <laughs> This is the picture? She's not down. This is Japanese archery champion. Oh shit. Um, Play sixth in Beijing. We're getting flashbacks from 10 things I hate about you. Is he joking? Mm -hmm. Pretty sure you can't do this though. Doesn't matter how good of an archer she is. Just listen to my music. Okay. The oh, and of course she hooks up with him. Are you serious? Yeah, because he was a douche to her. So now she has a need to impress him, right? You told me to make sure you run the road by two. Your brother's wedding in Newport? Whoa, he forgot his brother's wedding. So I guess he's the stand-in for Scrooge, right? Yeah. I love how someone was just like, hey, what if Scrooge was just like a fuckboy? <laughs> I have Kiki, Charlize, and Nadja on your IM. I'm not breaking up with girls for you, Connor. Conference then. Hi. Whoa, is, is there <clears throat> anyone else on the line? Oh, right. Jesus Christ. It's not going to work out for us. Wait, wait are you? What? Wait, wait, wait tell me you're not breaking up with me on a conference call. But I... So he's literally breaking up with three different girls at the same time. Yeah. Takes the love and he hoards it. Oh, I see. He hoards love instead of money. Uh. Ladies, it sounds like you have an awful lot to discuss. Man, it's like you can fuck around, but it's just... You can be honest about it. Yeah, you As a general be honest rule, about the it. The biggest problem people have is being disrespected and lied to. Yeah. If you just tell them what's up, they have a choice. You really are as bad as they say. I'm not surprised that she's into this. But she never treat me that way, right? No, of oh, course not. Come on, dude. Why am I doing this? Well, that usually has something to do with your father. Oh, Ooh. dude. I've never even met my father. Well, come to Papa. Oh, oh God, he used the purple line. Not to kink shame, but just for me, no. When it comes to the mommy daddy thing, yeah, I'm gonna kink shame. <laughs> oh God. Holly! Hey. Connor! Oh my God. What are you doing, dude? He came. That's just a rehearsal. Oh God. And no one else likes him, I love it. Why are you so excited about Matthew McConaughey? Uh, no, I'm just excited about no one else liking Matthew McConaughey. No, but you're running around to get him in and everything. Oh, <laughs> not me. <laughs> oh, fuck, yeah, fuck you. That took me a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously though, you have also had that haircut. No, I never did the pot. Listen, if you're having second thoughts, here's the key to my jag. Oh my God, seriously? Oh my God, you're serious. You're damn right, I'm serious. Dude, he is. Who's got your back? Huh? Yeah, that's cool. If you want to do anything for your brother, but my guy. <laughs> I'm just gonna go check on that. Yeah. By the way, nice to see Lacey Chabert in a movie. Yeah. Hadn't seen her since Mean Girls. Oh shit, you're right. Jenny Parati. Connor Mead. I'll be damned. Try to be supportive. Just not a dream rock. That is 100% fair. I'll be on my best behavior. That's what worries me. I will. I'll be supportive. Dude, I don't think even the best of the best of your behavior is going to be good enough. Yeah, no. Mm. And I think that he's doing that very deliberately. Connor, you remember Sandra? You know, it's not too late to get out gorgeous. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh. What's wrong with you? Guys, this is my brother hey, Connor. Guys. 
We've heard the stories, man. And honor. Don't fucking idolize guys like this. Yeah. But I guess that's the point of this whole fucking movie. Yeah. <laughs> We're making the movies point for it, aren't we? Yeah. Groom will take Bride's left forearm, and I will announce you as husband and wife. Following which, you will live happily ever after. Yeah, make your peace with it, man. Ah, oh, he's happy. I think he's okay. <laughs> I'm surrounded by hoggers. <laughs> no, <we're cool>. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> you know what, though? That's the first thing he said that I've agreed with. No. 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 Who are you talking to? <laughs> and also, why is it that big of a deal? It's not your fucking wedding, man. Yeah. Like, the decorations are expensive as shit. People wonder why I'm not married. No, no one wonders that. No. People were taking bets on whether or not you'd even show up. I'd miss my kid brother's wedding. See, that's what I said. I would bet on him not turning up. Deep down, you're a big sweetheart. Oh, look who's got me back. Even if he is deep down, the point is that you're still being an asshole. What about him? Dan Palumbo. Married. Oh, kids? <laughs> what? They're not really married unless they have kids. Ooh. Dude. Who are? Heard, understood, acknowledged. No. No. Just no. <laughs> no explanation, just nah. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Mead. I just want to tell you, I'm a huge fan of your work. Stop being that. So you're gonna photograph your brother's wedding? Also, you notice that everyone who idolizes this guy is just a total putz? Yeah. Look, what is this? A salad I ordered at Figs. Are you good though? This is a disaster. Oh my god. She is not good. Yeah, it's the whole pride silo thing. Everyone seems to be loving the salad, right? Anybody missing figs? No, oh, I yeah. <laughs> 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 Eat the fucking salad. I know it's not really your thing, but it is kind of a tradition for the best man to give a toast. It could be super short. You'd think that this guy would relish the opportunity to wear his best fucking douchebag Versace suit. But he's not business cool guy. He's rock and roll cool guy. Okay. Love? <laughs> it's magical comfort food for the weak and the uneducated. In the end, love leaves you weak, dependent, and fat. I get it. Are you saying I'm fat? Well, that, that was the takeaway. <laughs> yeah, but he's depressed as fuck and he just wants everyone else around him to be miserable as well. Yeah, of course. I love how he's choosing now of all times mm. to pull out I've awakened to the real world, guys. Oh, yeah, love yeah. is dead. He's basically just an incel who actually gets laid. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> believe me, all right? For Paul's sake, I wish I could believe in all this crap. Dude, you got a way to make it all by yourself. For the sake of common decency, you just like pretend you believe? Love is a myth. Oh, good, because I was afraid you were gonna make a really long cynical speech. I mean, it's like, but you're there for your brother because you love him, right? Why don't you go? Yeah, why don't I do that? I think I'll take my salad with me. I think you should have just not come, bro. You know the dumb thing, though? I keep being like, why is this guy being such a Scrooge? Yeah. <laughs> Michael Wayne. Michael Douglas. Yeah, Michael Douglas. Whoa, whoa. Never touch a man when he's hanging a wire. That's fair. That's very fair. That make me very uncomfortable. It's just like, it's all right. You're just like, right here with you, buddy. All right. <laughs> we'll get through this together. <laughs> Trust me, Dutch. You don't want to end up like me. What are you talking about? Like he just told you what he's talking about. Tonight, you're going to be visited by three ghosts. And you're going to be forced to feel things that you haven't felt for a long time. Things like feelings. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Who wrote this? Like, oh, yeah. This is fucking genius. <laughs> it's all for your own good. And the stuff that's not for your own good, it's for my entertainment. That's, that's fair. sick bastard, but yeah, oh, totally I'm, fair. I'm, but I love how he's like, it's my entertainment, even though you modeled your life after me. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna drink the whiskey? Sure, don't let it go to waste. There you go. Pull one out for the boys. <laughs> My man, I would definitely be drinking. I wanna it. drink ghost whiskey. Why not? Uh, is this the first ghost? Yeah. What are you doing, bro? You feel so real. Oh, they are, honey. Oh my god, not a ghost. <laughs> Van de Volk, mother of the bride. Oh, bud. No married woman your age keeps her form this fine. <laughs> Oh, dude. Who? Marriage is a corrupt and hateful institution. <laughs> oh, bud. Here he goes again. When did casual sex become a crime? <laughs> did it? It didn't. It's totally fine. It's the way you're going about it that's the problem. Being an asshole is what makes everyone hate you. And they fall asleep in each other's arms, spooning. Spooning is nice. Yeah, it is. Little spoon, big spoon, it doesn't matter. There's no wrong way to do it. He said, keep it light, Dutch. Keep it light. Oh man, you see the look on her face? Just like, poor child. Yeah. Are we off limits? I am extremely flattered. And not interested. But yes, 
We are definitely off limits. Yeah, because that's just fucking weird. Why don't you just find someone who's not attached to your family somehow? What the McConaughey hell is going on here? <laughs> I told you I do not want to be set up again. No, I've honey, been through it too many honey, that's Brad. He seems boring, I'll be honest with you. Okay, but this is the last time. And sure, we haven't heard a single word out of his mouth, but he seems boring. <laughs> but hey, that's what we're here to do, judge. That's true. Brad loves to run triathlons too, I know. Uh -huh. Do you want to go anywhere? Well, at least he's not completely milk toast. Yeah. Scamper up to my room, boil some water, get the chicken claw out of my suitcase, do some light stretching, the fuck? and I'll be up in five. Are you serious? What? Is that one of those weird stretchy things? I don't care what it is. Like, why does she need to get so prepared? And that's how it's done, son. Be less impressed. Does it work on guys? Ha! <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> at least he's inclusive. Connor Mead, brother of the groom. This is Brad. Fry, nice to meet you. Nice. Yeah, here he goes. Mm -hmm. Trying to sabotage this because deep down he's still jealous. Yep. If I was jealous, why am I at this very moment heading upstairs to close out my hat trick of bridesmaids? Maybe because you're terrified of being left alone with your empty, hollow soul for even a minute. I would say that's exactly the mm. truth. It's not even a zinger. Just an observation. I hope you enjoy pillow fights, talking about your feelings, and sharing massages with your clothes on. Is there something wrong with any Nothing of those things? Nothing wrong with any of those things! Do I not get laid if I do those things? Pretty much, yeah. I don't think that's how it works. Oh yeah, no, 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 he knows. Oh, okay. He knows. Have you seen his scarf? I guess I should probably listen to Matthew McConaughey. He knows what's up. He does. Blonde-haired, blue-eyed, happy meal of- Is this the first ghost? Yeah. I got you! Yay! Who are you? Oh. His literal first girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. That's Emma Stone. Yeah. Holy shit. She looks so different. Oh, I'm like a ghost now. Yeah. Yeah, the ghost of girlfriend's past, in fact. Oh, that had to make it real clear. Yeah. Is she actually dead? She's a ghost. She's just- Yeah, but no, no, I get that. But it's like, how is she a ghost if she's not dead? Is the real her walking around as an adult like, hmm, something's up? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. I think it's like she just represents his past his relationship. His first girlfriend, yeah, sure. all the past relationships. That's what I'm thinking. Hmm. But that'd be so funny. <laughs> she fucking happens to come to the wedding. He's like, what the shit? <laughs> what are you gonna do to me? Oh, no, 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 it's gonna be rad, okay? Punch him in the nuts. Yeah, actually. Every ghost, <laughs> first thing they do is punch him in the nuts. Now we're in 1982. They did an amazing job of making her look real young. It's your birthday. I let you win as your gift. And what's that? Can they see us? No, we're ghosts. And also, oh. Is this not a memory? Yeah. <laughs> Did they actually time travel? <laughs> yeah, they just fucking disrupt the space-time continuum. This becomes a time travel movie. So she gave him his first camera? Yeah. It was the first, like, photo he took. You look like a girl. It's... <laughs> I'm gonna keep it forever. Did you, though? Not as dumb as he looks, folks. Actually... Yeah. No. Dumber. Yeah. <laughs> she knew you before you became... you. Alright, what's next? At this point, he's just rolling with it. Yeah, well, it's not like he has much of a choice. Plus, rolling around on this bed would be pretty epic. Dude, I want to go to every party rolling up on that. <laughs> right? Either lying in the like, <laughs> hello, everybody. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I don't know why, but there's something creepy about the whole white glove thing. <laughs> <laughs> Ranger. Ask her to dance, man. Come on, Bob. No, cut. it's Ario Speedwagon. Oh my god, Jenny. Oh, too late. He Hastings wants to slow dance with you. <laughs> okay, I guess. Oh, there it goes, bud. Mr. Chance, bowl cut. I was being a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> the choke is so hot, I think she's gonna re-die. <laughs> It's just a kid, yeah. so rough. <laughs> when you don't have someone to teach you what to do in those moments, oh, yeah. you don't know. No, you don't know. Like his dad died. Uncle Wayne, Wayne wasn't teaching him how to like get into relationships. Guess not, eh? So a stabbing wagon. Oh. Jesus. Sounds like a serial killer's car. Yeah. You don't want to be anybody's first kiss or their last. Why don't you want to be anyone's first kiss? Yeah. I mean, I thought that was pretty cool back in the day. I hate girls! <laughs> That sissy talk. <sighs> Never talk like that in the stabbing wagon. Oh. As the 80s coming through. He never wore seatbelts. Never. Did he die in a car crash? No, his parents did though. Yeah. What the shit? I mean, I can't teach you algebra or camping or even ethics. <laughs> yeah. At least he's honest about it. I like that he knows who he is. I never want to feel like this again. Okay, Dutch. 
never again. You kind of need to go through that a few times. I get sucks, but oh my God, where's he taking it? Are you in a bar? Two jacks up, please. Because it's the 80s, he's old enough to drink, apparently. Truly a different time. Dames, they're like horses. He's spooky, see? Oh, oh God, he's like that fucking dude on TikTok. Russell, whatever his name yeah, is. Yeah, he's a mayor guy. Yeah. The stable dude. Will somebody please call Child Protective Shh, Services? Actually. Quiet, the prophet speaks. Oh. An ugly broad. You might as well take her out behind the shed and put one behind the ear. That dog won't hunt. Ew. Oh, again with the fucking animal analogies. I know it's the point, but holy shit. It's your feelings for her that are killing your game. Yeah, man, totally. Caring about someone is... Yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. One day you're gonna wake up with some chick spooning, you know, thinking about love. You run the hell out of there because sometime in the future, you're gonna get crushed. And you don't want to feel that way, do you? Oh man, it all just comes out of cowardice, doesn't it? It absolutely does, but you know what? When you're a teenager, all of this makes perfect sense. Oh, of course. You know what I mean? Of course, I'm not putting this on yeah. the kid at no, all. No, absolutely not, but it's just like, it just kind of strikes me how much shit like this I actually picked up on as a teenager dude, and internalized. Dude, same. You know, and it wasn't until like later on through like real life experiences that I went, I feel like I've been led astray here. Yeah, and up until that point though, you're just like, I don't get it, why is none of this working? <laughs> These fucking bitches suck. You could maybe talk to the girl next to her? You know, maybe make her feel jealous? I never felt like you were my son until now. Yeah, I knew he was gonna love that. Oh, Christ, you son of a bitch. Oh man, I don't know why we had this conversation years ago, huh? You yeah, definitely should not have had should, at any point. It shouldn't have, but it's because you're a negligent parent. <laughs> <laughs> and you are never the same. Come on. Woo! Ooh, there's Jenny. You didn't see her for two years while you learned the hand of the master. Seriously, two years? Childhood you, best friend? Did you just stop being friends? I uh, got the new poison. I love how he still has the bob cut, but it's just a cool bob cut right. now. <laughs> Dude, cold shoulders his best friend. He so doesn't want to talk to you. He looks like Duran Duran. Both of them. What? What do you mean both of them? <laughs> oh my god, it's me, it's me. We dated for the next 39 minutes. <gasps> what the fuck? Life. Oh, oh my god. Oh, no. oh god. Oh, stop doing that. I feel like Neil Armstrong. Are you comparing him to a moon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, him on the moon, me with you. He's just a fucking rock floating around in the empty void of space. Now, to my way of thinking, every woman is. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Could they not have oh just got another actor? <laughs> no, no. I'm glad they went with this. I'm so happy they went with this. Hey! Oh, back when she was still happy to see him. I must buy a drink for the girl who blew me off for Pete Hastings. You choked. Yeah, you choked. It's like he brought it up like it was a joke, but it's not. You're a photographer? I am. I gave you your first camera. You sure did. So what are you? No, no, no thank, thank you. you. Okay. Fuck with. He's a douchebag by now. What do you think I was inviting you over here to have a drink just to see how you've been? But Oh man, cause yeah, fuck that, right? No pink, pink Cut dress. Yeah. What? That's the dress you were wearing when you were dancing with Pete instead of. Oh, God. Seriously? He really didn't get over it. I'm going. Thanks. Oh, just like that? Yeah. Yeah, man. Just like that. Because you're a fucking tool. And we'll have a little dinner, have a little sex. Okay, okay. Just sex. How about just dinner? Mm. Take the no. You love this lifestyle so much, fucking lean into it. Dinner's good. I'm pretty hungry right now. What do you say? Why are you still entertaining the thought? We gotta button you up. Yeah. yeah thank, thank you. Thank you, God. You bank north of 150k a year. What I do. God. Let it go, bud. Very overconfident walnut. Oh, well, let's be honest. That's actually underconfidence. Yeah. You don't go around yeah. telling everyone how much money you have unless yeah, you're insecure about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's next? We're gonna watch a romantic montage of you and Jenny said to Cindy Lauper's time after time. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. a brilliant line. So there really was like a little thing here. Right. And he actually just t t fucked it up again. Yeah. How'd you fuck it up this time, my guy? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> Holy crap, that is such a power move. And then. After several weeks of wooing. Oh, because he's finally learned. Yeah, because he finally stopped being a douchebag. 
That was amazing. It's just a fucking popcorn. Can't imagine why we only had 20 years of foreplay. He's surprised that it was amazing. It's like, bro, you have been so thirsty for this. <laughs> Come on, dude. How are you not expecting this? <laughs> is he gonna start getting dressed now? He is. Yep. He's getting dressed. He's like, okay, we did the thing. It was a fun few weeks. You have three seconds to get back in this bed where you belong, or you can march out of my apartment and never call me again. I can lay it down. No, he's definitely gonna do the second thing. No? Oh, he's back. No, I guarantee she wakes up and he's not there. Not as dumb as he looks, folks. <laughs> ah, no, but he is, though. This is the moment you truly fell in love with Jenny. Yeah, he's dumber. <laughs> yeah. This is the moment that you realized you were spooning. So, you did what you do best. And she fell asleep quick. But I don't want to see this. Of course not. Yeah, of course you don't. Because he knows exactly what he did. No, this is, this is Dr. Prouty. I'll be there in 15. Hey. She took a risk on you, man. God. And you burned her. All oh, that build up too. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. This guy does not deserve to have drinks bought for him, okay? <laughs> yeah. Just saying. After Jenny, your relationships grew shorter. So short, in fact, that it would be easier to do this in bulk. We dated for two days. For an hour. For 48 seconds. Wait, what? 48 seconds? Every time you slept with me, you called me Jenny. Ooh. Stay with us. Back off. Hey, get off me! Ah. All of you and your guests are Nazis. What? Blue frogmen are. <laughs> Nazis. <laughs> yeah. Guests are Nazi. Band members and so forth. Oh, this is how they're, they're playing. Planning. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Daddy, you're not showing off your seating chart again, are you? Yeah, I mean, you know what? It's an impressive seating chart. <laughs> oh, he's gonna fuck up the cake, isn't he? Oh, he's desperately searching for boobs. Seriously, man? Dude. And, oh, yep, there you go. Oh, boy. And the cake is going down. Oh, he's got it. Good save. Fucking hell. I'll give him that. Call it someone. Out, though, call oh. someone for the yeah. love of God, man. Definitely yeah, call of course someone he's over. Try reach for it. It's okay to accept help. He's not even drunk enough to get away with this kind of stupid rationale. <laughs> I was gonna say charming Brad, but just Brad. Brad, just Brad. Just Brad. Where'd you learn to dance? Spent some time in Colombia. But you know what though? Doctors without borders. He's not completely without charm. In that classic kind of way. In the proper way. Yeah. I like this schmuck. No. <laughs> this guy who can't oh even fucking yell God. out. There you go. Now? No, no. You're definitely gonna drop that on the floor, though. What else are you ridiculously good at? You know what's gonna happen? He's gonna drop the wine ball, it's gonna smash. Everyone's gonna hear it, and then they're gonna come in to see the cake crashing. Oh, uh, yeah, probs. And think that he just got drunk and ruined the cake. Yep. Please don't bring it. Brad's got the moves. There it is. Ah! Yeah. Yep. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh my god, the cake. Oh. These things are not very well engineered, all right? <laughs> Blame me. Oh, no. Yeah. You know what? She deserves this freak out. Yeah, Let absolutely. Her Let her have it. I don't know. He said he won't release. 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 And no, it's okay. Let him. He's not worth it, sweetie. Hi, bye. He's got his emotions together. I am a professional. And I'm fine. Oh, God damn. Um, she's not fine. She's not fine, but fucking credit to her for not murdering him. Mm. Are you the one that slept with Paul? No! Because you what? That would be me. <gasps> While he was with her? Or before that? I'm talking about us. How it played out. You're actually apologizing, aren't you? Okay, yes. we don't need to make production out of it. Jesus uh, Christ, man, come on. It seems like the first time he's making any kind of apology, so maybe she should make a big production out of it. Yeah. It's a special event, my Dude, guy. This, this has never happened in history. <laughs> it's unprecedented. <laughs> Partially my fault. I was always attracted to assholes. Projects. Guys that I thought I could fix. Don't validate his bullshit. I made a vow to myself to date only fully functional, well-adjusted men. No more works in progress. No dirtbags. Good luck with that. <laughs> I know I dropped the ball before, but I, I have changed, I swear. No, you have No, I have. No, you don't change in the span of, like, what, a couple hours? I love how you can see the two different ideologies just clashing inside of him, though. It's pretty good. <laughs> Please stay with me. Seriously, Jenny, I've got ghosts in my bed. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say, man. <laughs> From him, it just sounds like a weird brag. <laughs> right. Where do you think you're going? <gasps> oh, Mel. Nah, she's one of the ghosts. Yep, yeah, she is. That makes sense. As sad as it is, I'm the only consistent woman in your life. Oh. Yeah, current. The closest <laughs> thing he has to any kind of relationship. Yep. If I'd have known, I would have hit on you a lot sooner. Mm. <laughs>
Nice. What was that for? Because tonight I'm the boss. What was that for? Man, take your choice. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how much fun they're having now that you're gone. Paul, he hit on your mother-in-law. I banged worse. Oh. You guys just don't know him like I do. I'm pretty sure you're just defending him because he's your brother and mm. he's been good to you. He's seen the best of him, but that's not most of him. <laughs> yeah. At an age when he's supposed to be a kid, he's, he's busy taking care of one. He taught me how to read. I swear that was the uncle's job. It was definitely the uncle's job, yeah. He beat the crap out of any kid who ever teased me. So the uncle adopted two kids, yeah, but only parented one. Yeah, pretty much. I had the opportunity to be a nice kid, and yeah. Connor didn't. That's actually a fair point. He grew up too quick. I love him. And as long as I live, I'll believe he can change, because he's... Dude, you got good at acting in the meantime. Yeah, worked on my chops, <laughs> did the work, studied hard. He's my big brother. You know, I'm glad they gave you a more prominent role. Yeah, me too. Mm. I deserve it. Yeah. What Connor is doing to poor Jenny. He's got that girl so twisted up into a pretzel, she can't even appreciate that fine slice. Ooh. Yeah, you gotta be careful about the shit you say at family gatherings like this, or just big gatherings in general. Talk shit, you gotta make stains. Mm. It's just embarrassing, you know? I think you only really get over somebody when you find somebody else that you okay. care about more. Of course oh, I like boy. boring bread. It's a mess. It's really cute too. <laughs> yeah, it is cute. Boring yeah. bread's great, yeah. I like him. Come on, let's go. Ow. <laughs> I just can't believe he broke up with us on a conference call. Oh, they all got together after this? That's the sisterhood, man. Right, yeah. We've already got new relationships. Wait, are you, did she just? It's so exciting to have people over. she's over. there. Right. Mel! Yeah. This is the real Mel. Don't be sad, you whiny bitches. Connor's not worth it. She's pretty cool. Wherever Connor lays his head tonight, when the sun comes up in the morning, he will be all alone. Wow, Mel is like my favorite character now. I mean, to be fair, I always liked her. We just got more of it now. Yeah. <laughs> So how are you holding up, Dutch? I'm guessing not great. Not too great. There you go. Why do all these women hate me? Because you treat them like shit. Bloody. Women love to be screwed. They just don't like to be screwed over. Well, no one likes to be screwed over. Now, is this weather tricks? No tricks, Dutch. These are all the lady tears that have been shed oh. for you in your life. I thought he was just going to say, no, it's actually just raining. Yeah. <laughs> I'm mean, like, yeah, fair enough. It's just raining, man. Come on. I don't like this. Yeah. We know he's a piece of shit. These are the tissues they use to dry those tears. Oh, what if they blew their noses on them too, though? I hope Gross. they did. And these are all the condoms you used. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, no. Oh, that is so gross. Totally fair, though. Oh. I'm glad they didn't show that. Yeah, same. That would have been so gross. Yeah. <laughs> she found out. You guys are not going to believe what just happened to me. <laughs> Why would anyone believe any of this shit that you would tell them? Why would you tell anyone? You being happy at any point here is not a good thing and no one wants to see it. You had sex with her and then you didn't even tell me. I mean, what? Yeah, you could have told her. Probably should have come forward with that before proposing. If you think it's something she might be mad about, then you need to tell her. Damn, that girl's been acting like a mental patient for the past 12 hours. Bro, come on, dude. What is wrong with you? Go to hell, Connor. Oof. Go to hell, but they are also not the best friends. I want you to leave. You better air these things out now, or you're gonna- Connor! By leave! Yeah, but yeah. Make this weekend worse for everyone. Your biggest supporter is kicking you out right now, my guy. You need to wake up and smell the fucking roses. I know I've got one more ghost left on my contract, but I've been asked to leave the premises. She just looks so insane. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing my future girlfriend. That was the ghost. I was most looking forward to! Me too. In movies, anytime anything crazy happens to people, it's they're always like, I need to yell about this. Oh yeah, to the sky. Everyone needs to know <laughs> yeah. that I'm crazy. Are you my future girlfriend? No. Nope. Because the last one in the story is death. It's the Grim Reaper. We're ready for some lessons. Hey, there's no girlfriend in the future. No. Because he dies. Oh, hell no. No, he's getting married. I get married? No, oh, I guarantee she's getting married to the other dude. Oh. Brad. That's a fair point. Okay. Bring out Brad. As a matter of fact. Bring out Brad. Bring out Brad. Bring out Brad. <laughs> there he is. Yay, Brad! No, 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 no. Yes. Yes, Obviously, dude. Brad. Because you were kind of trash. No! <laughs> One, buddy. He's not a bright guy. Nothing gets past this guy. <laughs> exactly as dumb as he looks, folks. Yeah. Oh, right with that one. <laughs> oh, what? This is supposed to be with me. <laughs> hey, it's Paul. 
think the wedding didn't work out. Yeah, no ring. Yeah. Why? She's you pointing at you, dickhead. You motherfucker. What did I do? Uh, a lot of things. <laughs> oh, man, I don't age well. <laughs> I mean, were we expecting you to? <laughs> you dick. <laughs> There's his funeral, and Paul's the only one who turned up. Let's be yeah. here. Why are you even bother putting out that many chairs? Nobody's really gonna miss you. For the yeah. burial, would you like Come to on, you have to know that no one likes you. <laughs> yeah. They've all made it real clear. Yeah. No, Uncle Wayne. Sorry, kid, party's over. Uh -huh. uh, I love Late. it if he was just like, Welcome to Wayne's world, bitch. <laughs> right. Is it Christmas? No, it's Saturday, you moron. <laughs> Even this kid's like, God damn, you need to stop drinking that. Dude, you have a problem. <laughs> the two of you are meant to spend the rest of your lives together. No, you can be a real sarcastic prick sometimes. I'm not being sarcastic. You were saying the yeah. exact opposite just yesterday. <laughs> it's just been one day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it> exploded? <laughs> Also, do you want to put Paul in the cut? Well, nope, no. No time. Yeah, okay. He needed to jump in or fucking get left behind. Yeah. Also, he... I don't think he would want to get into this car. Fuck is gonna die. <laughs> Surprising amount of control considering he's driving through the snow. <laughs> yeah. Maybe don't crash into her. Oh, <laughs> oh the brakes don't even work. Of course. You know what? The stabbing wagon probably deserved to go under. Put it to rest. I need to talk to your daughter. Over my dead body, Paco. <sighs> mm. Hey, whoa. Dude! I'm pretty sure he did not deserve so, this. So unnecessary! Don't chicken out now. Chicken out? He cheated! It was years ago. I, with some slutty friend of yours. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Rough. You gotta risk love, Sandra. Risk it. I didn't. Sandra does not look in good shape. I'm an empty, lonely ghost of a man. Uh, he was the last ghost all along. <laughs> Fuck. Any pain that you feel will never compare to the regret that comes from walking away from love. Come on, you gotta risk it for the biscuit, Sandra. <laughs> for the biscuit. Get that biscuit! I can't believe I'm saying this, but uh... Yeah, believe in love, Sandra. I think you might be right. Hey. Dad wakes up and just fucking like clocks him out from behind. <laughs> he gets like a wire. He's like, it's over now. Oh, baby. Yep, he did it. Uh, he was nice enough to take the photos. Nice. To me, this is like... <laughs> Bare minimum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Especially considering everything else he did. It's like, my guy, yeah. you owed them the photos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His insights oh. fell out. And I had his bloody guts in my hand. Dude, is this a wedding story? Someone once told me the world is gonna roll me. Couldn't help but keep one fucking button undone. All habits die hard. Hey, he's not all the way reformed yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still got a little bit left to go. <laughs> yeah. And my kid brother, Polly. I want to be more like you. Uh, Matthew McConaughey wants to be more like me. So cool. I mean, you should feel honored. I am. <laughs> I kind of don't want him to get the girl though, even though he's changed. I would like- I want to see more change. Yeah, I don't want to see the, like a flash forward, you know? <laughs> what happened to you last night? I honestly don't know what the hell happened to me, but I do know that I'm seeing things more clearly today than any time that I can remember. I like the way I feel about you. Imagine if the change just broke right when he was making this big half health speech. You kept it? Yeah. Forever and ever. I've had that on me since the day I took it. That is pretty damn sweet, I gotta say. That is a winning move. Yeah, this can win. We yes! The same page. Speedwagon! Fuck yeah! I just recognize this song. Yeah, it's a good song. Well, it works over. What do you say, doll? Let's get naked. <laughs> <laughs> Still trying that, after all this. Get it? Dictation. Oh, oh my dude. god, dude! I'm actually at this party. Oh, and she kills. Oh, yeah. I mean, you didn't see that coming? No, that's fair. I just didn't expect her to be there. Brad! Yes! Brad! 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 I love how much we turned around on Brad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Brad is charming as shit. I stopped calling him boring Brad. <laughs> you know what, though? The inclusion of REO Speedwagon makes this movie for me. <laughs> Honor me, it's out. Who's in that? Oh. Yeah, I'm back to you. Oh. Let's do this thing. Oh my god. Okay, I get the little one. Okay. They're <laughs> going for it. They're doing it. Okay. You, you look just like my sister. Oh. Oh, why did they have to throw that in there? Why would you say that? And also, how is that a good thing? 
Throw the bouquet. We know who's getting it. Not even a need. Just hand it over, for God's sake. Who's that? Huh? Here you go. Oh my god! What? I like that they did that because <laughs> I really thought it was going to Jenny. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. That oh, was fun. I mean, despite the fact that we spent the entire movie hating the main character. <laughs> yeah. Which was the point. Oh, yeah, well, I know the that's the yeah. point. He got better, so, you know. You know, I was still not really that hyped on him even after he got better. That's fair. But, you know. He still had some growing to do. But I guess, you know, the reality is just that the rest of the characters kind of made the movie. Yeah, absolutely. You've been with Sam. Steph. And what movie, movie buds? buds.